So I got some new equipment that I'm trying out here. We'll see how it works out. But I wanted to do a quick three mile run. It's amazing out here. It's like 63 degrees. It, you couldn't ask for a better day at the end of December. This is amazing. I'm gonna take advantage of this, but I wanted to try out this new equipment. And then I also wanted to talk about what are my plans for the channel for 2021? All right, so I am trying out my road wireless go on my camelback i've got a ulanzi gopro hero 9 plastic cage mount i don't know the exact number oh it's g9-4 it holds the gopro adapter we'll see how this sounds at the end hopefully this sounds good enough that i can actually post this video what are my plans for this channel well First off, I wanna get some new equipment this year, some uh, different cameras. I don't have a standard camera, like, uh, I don't know what you call them, but uh, just a regular old camera that you can replace lenses on. I'm out of breath, I gotta slow down. I am not used to running yet from being sick. So, but yeah, I wanna get a actual real camera to help with the quality of the images because I primarily use my iPhone and uh, my GoPro. But first, the big thing that I want to get is I'm really wanting to get, and I'm going to at the beginning of the year, the Insta360 One X2. That camera is amazing. Some of the shots that you can get with it are just unreal the videos i've been watching so that is first on my list um i have been looking at a mavic mini 2 drone i'd like to get some sweet drone shots i'm not sure if the mini is right for me but the mini seems nice because it's small compact i could put it in my camel back let me know do you guys have a drone I've watched a lot of footage, a lot of videos about the different drones out there. And uh, I just don't know. The Mini seems really nice because of its size, but it doesn't have any obstacle avoidance stuff. So if you have experience with drones, let me know. And uh, um, as far as trail builds go, I, I have a few plans heck is that <laughs> something going on in those bushes i have a few plans for different uh different builds i only have a couple in mind that i want to do there's a skinny feature surprise surprise that i want to do and um i, I want to do some rollers and some small dirt jumps um i do want to make a couple of sign holders for the trail map that Corey made for me this last year, which that trail map is absolutely awesome. Thanks so much, Corey. As for mountain biking, I wanna go explore some uh, trails. One that I've never been to, which is Stockton Lake Trail. That is about an hour from me. I've heard it's pretty good. I also want to go out to Branson, Missouri and ride out there at the White River Trail. I believe that's what it's called. I've been out there, but it has been probably seven years since I've been there on a bike. We went hiking there a year ago and it looked about the same. It's a pretty cool trail. There's no special jumps or anything like that. There are a few technical rock areas, but it's, it's pretty much like most of the riding around here. Rudy, Rocky, XE style. I'm going down to Bentonville. I haven't been there in years and I absolutely love Bentonville. It is such a cool place. And from what I can tell, it's gotten even better. Uh, I do turn 40 this year. Old, old man, I know. But uh, I'm trying to get in better shape before my birthday which is in march and i'm going to 
go ride the back 40 and maybe Little Sugar down there. Um, that seems like just a really cool style trail, something that I would really enjoy. And uh, planning on doing that for my 40. I'm calling it uh, back 40 for Mike's 40. So that'll be fun. Hopefully weather is good in March, but you just never know. If I have to push it off a little bit, that's okay. There's a guy looking at me holding my camera. I do look a little nuts doing this, but you know what? You only live once. And if you guys enjoy this, I'll look a little stupid for you in the process. Let's see, oh, running videos. Yeah, when I get that Insta360 One X2, it's a mouthful, that one should change the dynamics of my running videos. With the GoPro, it's essentially, you point it, you shoot it, you capture it. But with that one, I literally can just be holding it like this, talking to you guys and capture everything around me. Plus get some pretty cool shots. So that should change the dynamic of my running videos, which I'm really looking forward to. Those are pretty much all the plans for the channel. Keep making videos, try to keep them coming out Thursdays and Sundays. I'm real excited about everybody who's jumped on and subscribed. I mean, absolutely amazing. Uh, I just recently had Bass Pro Fitness Series share my uh, year-end montage of my backyard trail builds. Greatly appreciate that. That's pretty much it for the update that I wanted to give you guys going on quite a few minutes here. So let's just go and enjoy the run. There we go, three miles, 10.02 pace, according to my watch. Oh, that was good. That was really good. If you guys like these videos, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, let me know what you'd like to see on my channel. Uh, if you think a drone's a good idea, uh, have, do you have a 360 camera? What regular camera should I get? If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Really helps out the channel. And uh, also go check out runbikemike.com. That's my website. I know, old school to have a website. It's nothing fancy, but you can get to all my social media from there. My Instagram, which is runbikemike. My Twitter, which is run underscore bike underscore Mike. And my Facebook, which is runbikemike. So go check that out, runbikemike.com. There, occasionally, you might get some early sneak peeks on stuff. And uh, as always, Get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you in the next one.